Hey there, friends. Welcome to another episode of the Great Detective Legacy Challenge. This is episode 36. What? And right off the bat, of course, my nose itches. I'm always touching my nose. This is one thing I never really noticed until I started actually face recording myself exactly how much I touch my face. And now that I've told you, you're going to start noticing. Sorry, ahead of time. But here's what has been going on. We're, we're going to jump into the video, but... So I went through a whole day of nothing should have happened today. It shouldn't have been anything that fantastic. I kind of went through and I changed the cosmetic look of a lot of my Sims. You know, freshen them up. Kind of, they're adults now. They're going to kind of be their own thing and everything else like that. But we had some stuff happen with Heath. Everybody kind of is a little bit different now, so let's just go ahead and jump into it and I'll explain what happened. Okay, so here we are. Uh, you notice there's a there's a Heath has changed. Okay, so what I ended up doing, I think I might have got a little bit overboard, is the first three children of my Sims ended up with really smushed faces. It kind of mellowed out on Occam. And Stephanie doesn't even look like she's my kid. And that's her natural face. I actually didn't do anything with her. But we're just going to kind of like take a gander. Here is Heath. Hold on. Oh, wait, no. Okay, so here is Heath. And I actually don't know how to get rid of his acne stuff. I know there was a thing to where you could um, turn turn it off. And I did, and that should have cleared it, but it didn't. So he's kind of left with some acne scars, which is fine. But with Heath, what ended up happening with him is... He ended up getting some sort of job prompt, and I don't know if it's still here in my thing. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Also, Heath is um, cheerful now. Where was it? Oh, and let's see here. Aubrey got a promotion. Katrina is with her boyfriend. He's running around the house somewhere. We'll we'll find him later. But what was it with... Okay, so this is what ended up happening with Heath, right? So he got a little notable newcomer. Heath has started down the path of stardom, all right? So then this happens. No sooner had the simoleons hit Heath's bank account than an online blog tech munch... Munch? Posted an article proclaiming Heath as the hot new guru that makes waves in Silicon Valley. Heath was surprised to receive a text from his new business partners informing him that they'd pay for the piece to go live the moment their deal closed. After all, they have a single sighting bonus their newest investment. Clearly, Heath has stepped into a whole new world of high-stakes business. And it's like, what? And then there's a whole bunch of other stuff. But yeah, that... So, Heath is kind of, like, important now. Who would have thought? And he also has burnout, which we don't blame him at all. So then, we're going to come over to Aubrey. And Aubrey... She got her promotion. Again, she kind of has some of the acne scars. Not a big deal. Just, I wish there was a way for me to clear them up, but even the green tea doesn't help. But I kind of gave her some tattoos and whatnot and kind of look at her with her painting and stuff. She's done being burnt out. She needs to create a painting. Reach level eight. She's already at level seven. Like, she is burning through her, her funness, right? And obviously we have the butler. He's just there. Then we have Katrina. Yeah, we've redone Katrina just ever so slightly. Again, the acne scars. I can't do anything about it. But somewhere in this house. Somewhere. I swear he was here. And I don't know where he went. Or maybe he left. But anywho. We have... 
I worked really hard on this. So they are sweethearts. And he prompted and asked and thought we should move in together. And I was like, mm, I don't know about that. But I think he left. I don't know where he's at. He's somewhere. We'll get him back on the lot. But he's like all lovey-dovey and everything. That was a lot of work. That was a lot of work. Occam. Time to wear black. Sad because I'm sad. Okay, that's fine. Let's go ahead and let the Sims kind of do their thing. So, Occam is just Occam. Nothing really special has happened, but Stephanie. Stephanie is a surprise because I actually didn't do anything to modify her face. Like, Occam, Occam's face is beautiful. You know, it's not smushed or anything, so it got left. But Stephanie, Stephanie looks just like uh, Akira, her dad. It's so uncanny. You're in the way. Y'all are in my way. Anywho, let me, let's zoom in on here. Yeah, I gave her some tattoos and I gave her kind of some really long nails and stuff, but she's my evil sim, so. Yeah. And that's her partner in crime, but we haven't got there yet, so shh. Okay, ah! So, I didn't do anything with Gina. I kind of might be gave her, no, I didn't do anything with Gina because she's still a teenager. Lydia, I didn't do anything with Lydia because she's a teenager. Elliot, my sweet little baby boy who's asleep. I didn't do anything with him because he's a he's a child. And then Robin. Hey there, neighbor. Do I hear the sizzle of something broken? No, you can go away. But everybody's doing pretty okay. We kind of got... We kind of got a mess going on, though. So I need Heath. Heath, I need you to go back into your programming and I need you to finish making this app. Eventually we'll get this done. Okay. I need you to start on a painting. So here is something that I have been working on on the off scenes. Gina has learned the following trait for... Uh, Juan, he is loyal. Why are you doing extra credit? My children are very suspicious. But I have been working on a new Sims build. Like, a new Sims build to fill up this whole lot. And it started out with, okay, maybe I only wanted to be a 300,000 because that's how much this lot is worth right now. And I'm, oh, by the time I'm done, it's probably going to be a cool half mil house by the time I'm done. Would you like to say that Stephanie and Occam have difficult family dynamics? Yes. So eventually, hopefully by the end of the month, we can earn some more simoleons and whatnot so we could be able to bring in the new house. That's the plan. Who is that? I'm sorry, who are you? Neighbor. And what exactly are you doing? Oh, I think not. You can, you can, you can just go right away. You don't, you don't belong. Oh, I have the wrong sim to say that. Babsby. No, oh, uh, who's not doing anything? Stephanie, you want to be, make an enemy. Congratulations. You have an enemy now. Can we work on this with Stephanie? I don't know why this lady just walked in our house. Like, who is she? Abby. Why are you angry? You stormed into my house. I don't know who you are. Hold on, though. Uh, Copyright, I'm sure. All right, we are about to make an enemy act tough. Uh, mock outfit. Um, shove. Uh, insult. Uh, we'll see what happens, I guess. 
something. I don't else. know who her her relationship Bubba is with anybody. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I don't know who she's. She's just a neighbor. Well, you're about to have an enemy. You shouldn't have came in the house. Uh huh. Uh, shove. Um, implied mother is a llama. Oh. New set. Mulspec Mopsy Bombo. She's very angry. Luchi Jalan. Uh. Rainnick Adunda. Oh, nope, nope, nope. You stay away from the butler. That is her butler. <gasps> Shout forbidden words. <laughs> Come on, Stephanie. Mobile app complete. Enter the name of the mobile app. So much power. Uh, app of dis uh, no, not app of disappointment. What do we want this app to be called? Um, I'm looking. I'm looking on my desk for like things for inspiration. Let's see, the um, magic coffee. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get back to you, he. Okay, she's getting ready to shout the forbidden word. Oh, we got this. Yeah. Ooh, we get it. Claim to be a crit. Well, no, we're not claiming that. That that totally ends up. Uh. Is that it? Hmm. Oh. Uh, hello? Look how happy you are. Insult. We're not done. We haven't made an enemy yet. Throw drink. Uh. Shout forbidden words again. Mmm. Yell at. Uh. Insult. Okay. Come on, Stephanie. Kumba, Mubni, Plevar. Oh. Sanzibi, Kumbar, Panavi, Ziragua, Volmet. You just got the vacuum in the background. Oh. Bimic. Zambos. Be mean. Fanu. Yeah. Man, we are just not having any luck. How long does it take to make an enemy? What are you doing? Man, it takes a lot of effort to get people mad at you. Can I? Sure. Can I fight her? Uh, malicious? Really? Not yet. I wanna. I wanna kind of. I wanna try to fight her. Stephanie would win. Quar. Belindy. Whatever. You're so mean. What did that say? Abby and Stephanie now despise each other. Oh. Eating dirt is really unhealthy. Okay. <laughs> Oh, but we're not done yet. She wants an enemy. So we're going to have to keep going at this. We're almost there, though. Loonies. 
Gelsey? Nepa. Also, why do you have your oh. shoes on? I said no okay. shoes in the house. Uh. Mock outfit. Uh. Declare Gelsey. enemy. Uh. Yes. Queen of Azar. Nibs. Scopa Yum. A Blin Kipuna. Oh, don't gloom. That was so dramatic. Abby and Stephanie have had it. They are now enemies. But you didn't get... But you didn't get that. Are, are we not... We already know you're evil. We already know this. Nope, we're still not there yet. That means more insults. Here we go. Can I fight you oh, yet? Easy, you oh, no, no, she did get that. Now what do you want to do? We're going to send her home soon. Be mean to a good sim. Uh, why do you want to do that? Uh, Let's do a few more things. Shout forbidden words again. Okay. So mean. Jeer. Pelnoy. And throw drink. And then we're gonna send her home. Ooh. Oh no. Snurgs. Oh no, Stephanie. Oh. Oh, is a dork. Dang, we're enemies with a lot of people. Can you just go home? Can you leave now? I've had my fill. I should really be getting- Oh, there you go. Now you've taken your shoes off. Thanks for hanging out! <laughs> You're welcome. Anytime. Oh. You know, this door at one point in time was locked. It's not anymore. I don't know. How'd your painting do? Did you finish? Can you please... Oh. Sell to an art gallery. Yes. We need some money. Why are you scared? It's not dark. Where are you? You're fine. Okay. So, <laughs> I think it's somebody's birthday today. We'll get there. Hold on. Uh, I need you to make another painting. Okay, it's Friday. It's technically nobody's birthday. So... Okay. What happened with you? Program complete. You're just chilling here now? Have spent 100 hours on the computer. Oh, well, guess what you're gonna do? Can you actually... Oh! That's something else. I have bought two occult packs because they went on sale. And I bought the werewolves and the vampires. And I don't know how that's going to play into stuff, but I feel like they're going to make an appearance in this household. I, I, I've never played with their packs, so we'll have to see. Um, Why don't you research vampires? Okay, you're fine. We didn't buy her recycler like we were intending to, but that's fine. We'll have to get her boyfriend over again. Let's see. Be friendly with five or... Are you hungry? Go find something to eat, my dear. Go find something to eat as well, my dear. You're okay. Ooh. Get something to eat. And then go find somebody to talk to. Heath. Heath what? Red what? Heath read that vampires prefer to sleep in coffins as an added bonus. It protects them from the sun. Oh, what I'm looking forward to is the kitchen pack once that comes out. I like how it's one in the morning and everybody's awake. It's like, what is even going on? What's wrong with you? What's wrong? Burned out... Wait, I, I need you to do something. Do you have a love interest? 
Oh yeah, no, we broke up with her. That's right. It's very complicated. That's a very, very, very strong red line. Uh, we need money. Who do we have that's rich? I bet you Santa Claus is rich. We need to spend a day actually with with all of our Sims. We've been spending a lot of time with Katrina and she's kind of found a love interest now. So that's something. But Heath, what do you have going on? Let's see. You don't... Do you work today? It's Friday. Let's see here. You do work today. Technically. But... You know what? Let's take Heath out on the town. We have two packs that I've never played with before. So let's go and see what we can find there for Heath to do. Moonwood Mill, that is werewolves. Um, Forgotten Hollow, that is vampires. So what's over here? Um, vampire house, vampire house, vampire house. There's nothing over here. Okay. Um, maybe we'll go to Werewolf Town. What's over here? We have a library. Okay. And a Grimtooth Bar and Bunker. Do I want to risk him getting bit? Mmm. You know what? Let's risk it. Let's risk it. Let's take Aubrey. Aubrey doesn't have a love interest. Let's see what we can find here. Yeah, Heath and Aubrey having a time out in some weird werewolf area that I suppose we're not supposed to know that it's werewolves. Maybe. We'll find out. Okay, so we gotta kind of wait for everything to load in. But first things first, why are you angry? Okay, you just need to find some fun. You know what? Let's uh, order some food. Let's get a... Uh, Blue steak. Sure. And you can order some food. And you're gonna get a veggie burger. Oh! Whoa! Okay. We got a vampire. A young adult? Are you? Are you? Hold up. Are you a young adult? Who are you? I like how I finally figured that out. You are beautiful. Look at your little freckly nose. You are not a young adult, sir. You lie. <laughs> you lie. <laughs> okay, so we'll kind of just wait for everybody to spawn in and whatnot. I think there were some people over here. A proper celebrity. Okay, so who do we have for names? You want to come talk to Heath. All right. So you are Christopher. Okay. I don't know what's going on. Oh, wait, no. Where'd, where'd those guys go? They just, they disappeared. Hello? Hello? Well, there's a secret bunker there. Only werewolves can use this door. Okay, so I think all the va all the werewolves just kind of went went underground and I can't go there. Is there nothing for me to do around here? Is there anybody out here? Hello? Hello? What is this place? Oh, it's a library. You know what? Yeah, let's visit the library. I thought werewolves were nocturnal. <laughs> Is this the excitement that we get? That nobody is here at the library? Alright, this is turning into kind of a bust. And I don't think any sims are going to spawn in. Okay, so... Save and go to manage world. Let's go somewhere else. <laughs> okay, so that was kind of a bust for those two packs. Um... 
I don't know where I'm going. I just I just want to take Heath and Aubrey out on the town so they can like Maybe I should have just taken them to a karaoke bar. Now they're probably like, why are we here? I don't know. You know, I'm trying my best, okay? I am trying my best and you just need to calm down. Oh wait, a person, who are you? Okay, does that mean more people are coming in? Who are you? Is she from the vampire pack? She kind of looks like she might be. Um. What was that? What, what was that little like... What was that? Um. Ask to turn... She is a vampire. Enthuse about vampires? I don't want her to burn in the sun. Oh, she left. So that was a bust. Although he did get to meet a vampire. So that's something. And apparently you can just ask to be... Mm, sorry, microphone. You can just ask to be turned. That honestly feels a little disappointing. I wanted to be... If it happens, I want it to be a surprise. <laughs> but like, what are you doing? No. Brain block. Heath is burnt out. Heath's burnout became a total brain block. Brain block seriously impacts work performance. Okay. Hello? Fight. <sighs> Teachers had to break up a fight between Gina and another student in the hall. Have them work it out. No one got hurt. It's fine. <laughs> Looks like we're going to talk to ourselves in front of a mirror. Practice speech. Practice acting, I guess. I don't know. Who are you? You're my maid. All right. So we got Katrina. So let's call over to our lot. Our snuggle buddy. Invite to hang out on current lot. We're just going to introduce you to him. That way you're like, oh, okay. He'll be right over. Get leftovers. And yeah, we'll introduce him. There he is. He is a young adult. Dude, just come inside. And he's super flirty. Uh... Babsby is unsure what to do at work. I know. Avoid the situation. Performance loss. Okay, so he just came in on his own. Beautiful. So, it is strongly possible that he is going to end up... Oh, no. We did that last time, and we're not trying to do that again. So, this is... No, no. Frass Bobsel? You Taka. You Taka Ishi. And this is Katrina's love interest from high school. I aged him up. Um we can give him a key. Which I don't know what that does. Talk about marriage. Uh we can propose. We can flirt. Affection physical intimacy we can woohoo if we want to we can hold hands but i am kind of curious what happens if we give you a key to the house what does that do am i going to regret this it's possible Ooh. i swear if you rob us stephanie will find you Oh, that that's all that happens? Does that mean you can just show up whenever you want to now? So what is this guy like? What do we know about him? Uh That's not true, but 
Oh, you're still butt hurt? Did Katrina let down Yutaka by not agreeing to move in together? Oh, yeah, because I told them no, not yet, but does he have a job? Um, He does not have a job. Well, guess what? If you move into the house, you're about to. But yeah, we're just going... Aww! Oh! But yeah. Wait. Who just spent... What was that 200 for? <sighs> Whatever. Anywho, we're just gonna leave it here. Let these two little lovebirds just have at it. Hopefully, you know, we'll see what ends up happening in the next episode. But I think what I might do is turn on a lot trait to where I just have the butler live in the house. I know that this the house is about to get very crowded and I'm kind of ready to embrace it anyway, but we'll have to see what I end up doing in the next episode. So not much happened, but you know, he might have a potential girlfriend in the form of a vampire. We'll just have to stay tuned to see how that turns out. Well, as always, if you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like. And if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button somewhere around here. I make videos like this every week and I would love to have you here. Well, as always, remember to be happy, be healthy, be safe, and I'll see you next time.